putting in kind of a later night here. But my parents just got home from a bike ride, so they weren't here all day to help me with anything. And now we are working at building up my desk. You can come in. Dad's been helping me a lot with this process, um, so I haven't been doing it all by myself because he's teaching me like how to use a saw and stuff. Like I've used, used a saw before, but it's nice to have supervision when you're doing shit like that. So we cut this, is that a two by four essentially? It's one by. So we cut this board, which is a one by two to length so that it would go in that little spot right there. Cause that is what I'm gonna have to mount my brackets to for my desk. I haven't really explained how my desk is gonna go. Um, we're working on getting brackets so that my desk will like flip down and then lift up and it kind of defeats the purpose of having doors there, so it's kind of like a two-in-one deal. But yeah, so we're trying to figure that out now. Now you don't push too hard or you'll break the pit. Okay. Hello, you guys. We are officially starting this area. Everything in there is pretty much done besides final touches. And now, as you can see, I've already primed my office area. I've primed this top one and I've primed this bottom one. This is going to be where I mount my computer desk, but I just poured the paint and this is my first time seeing this color, so we're going to hopefully like it <laughs> because the other one was a bit of a hassle uh, to change, but we shall see what it looks like. So I'm about to start painting with color in here and it's all coming together. So let's start painting. I was hoping it was a little more paint tint. And it might be, but maybe it's, I mean, cause like look over here where it, this is where I first started. Okay. It's too gray. I didn't want gray in here. I wanted to lighten it up and I just don't like the color. So we went to do some mixing again and mom found some paint that I had used previously for my old bedroom. Sorry, you can't see me. And it is very dark navy because I did an accent wall with it. So I just did some mixing and I came up with this color. And I like it a lot better. It's a lot more blue, which is kind of what I was going for. I wanted like bluer tones and this was just before was just really gray. So I'm going to mix up enough of that to be able to paint with um, in another container and do a coat of that and hope that I like it better this time. Okay, I made my color. Now let's see if I like it. I'll go on the inside somewhere. Oh yeah, so much more blue. Just, it's very subtle, but I just, I don't know. I like it way better. Perfect. Oh, I'm in love now. This is a perfect color. <laughs> it's getting a little dark in here, but you guys, I got it painted and this is exactly what I wanted. I'm obsessed. I'm gonna continue to work and get everything done that I wanted to get done in here. I have a door to hang back up that's just been sitting there. I got this painting done, so yes, I'm making progress and I'm feeling happy, so. Hello you guys, today working on the office a little bit more. I wanna stress the importance of me having an office space in my RV. I have done so many searches on Pinterest, Google, YouTube for RV offices, and there like isn't one. This isn't an office, it's not its own room, but it's still like an office space that I can have for myself and it's a dedicated workspace where I can mount my computer. I have a big computer, 
my brother built that thing for me and so there's no way I can like live without it especially my job being remote and online and I need a really good operating system so working off a laptop it's really not what I wanted to do and so this is pretty much an entire office dedicated video because unlike me I want people to be able to actually go search on YouTube RV office tour and actually see a dedicated office space within an RV I know it's not something everyone has space for especially when they live in vans and things like that but I just felt that this particular area was absolutely perfect for me to have as an office I feel like before I just went right into painting everything it's like whoa girl slow down explain yourself <laughs> um i still need to paint that up there i need to prime and paint that blue because i didn't know what i was going to do with it at the time when i was painting and now i just want to cut make it all the same color so i need to paint that still but i got something exciting in the mail today it is the contact paper for my desktop which is down here this right here is going to get covered and I'm going to be also building a flip up desk that will also double as a bit of a door for the bottom. So that's what I'm working on today. And that being said, let's open the contact paper and get that put on. trying to build my little desk, my flip up desk situation that I've got going on here. I cut this board. This is a board my mom had already so I didn't have to buy one, which was very nice because I was just going to cover it with contact paper anyway. So I cut this board to the right size. So what it'll do is it'll go pretty much right here like this, except it'll be the same paper as this so it'll look nice. And I bought arms that will allow this to flip up and give me extra space while I'm working, which is the plan. So, these are the arms that I bought. They're from Amazon. Um, they just like have this little lever that you push down um, and then you can separate it like this. And then this is how they'll go up like this. And I've got two of them, one here and one over on this side. And when I found a socket driver, and I think that's what that called, <laughs> socket thing, and I got my screws, so I'm gonna put the three screws in here and then I'm gonna attach the shelf, and that is it for that project. I brought my monitor in here and I'm gonna try to mount it on this mounting bracket thing that I bought because my desk is pretty much done besides like adding the doors that are up on top but it's time to mount this so we're almost done favorite thing I've done in the RV so far. 